Hello everyone, welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In my recent rocket profile for the H3 rocket, you may have noticed that I had some photo scenery for Tanagashima. It was visible only briefly, and there were some flaws in it because the default uh, terrain for a real solar system was poking through. I have fixed some of that, and I'm going to take a flight to just peruse the situation. And so you can see the photo scenery around us. And this is the default location for a real solar system. There is a Tanegashima a location that you can select in the tracking station. And there you can switch your KSC location to here. And that is what I've done. And so throttle up. Uh, well, we'll use atmospheric autopilot for this. And I'll take off in the F101, which of course is part of my plane spec as well. Except for the engines and landing gear, which are not. Uh, I think actually the control surfaces are from procedural parts. Oh, sorry, procedural wings. Oh, the monolith is there too. Because, of course, this is still the KSC, technically. Come on. You can do it. Ah, uh, take off speeds. Alright, so... The location of the KSC in relation to Tanegashima is a little bit weird. Uh, we can see some terrain poking through there, that's not ideal. But actually, even though they've placed the KSC over here, um, the Space Center is over there. Now, I'm going to link it in the video description, and it's an additional zip file to my existing terrains pack, which contains Edwards and Boca Chica. So there's one zip file for Edwards and Boca Chica, and there'll be a separate zip file for Tanegashima. Tanegashima is not that big because I didn't have uh, very high resolution textures for it. But uh, actually the Tanegashima Space Center is right here, right at the edge. But you can see uh, there's the default terrain here. I've tried to cover the default terrain for real solar system with the photo scenery island. And that's why it's over here, but then the Space Center is all the way over there. And the Space Center is... Uh, the KSC is much bigger than the <laughs> Tanegashima Space Center, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, there's some train poking out there that's unfortunate. I've tried to, uh, with these hills and all, this is the first time I've done this with one of my trains, uh, create the hills. Uh, I've tried to cover the locations of the default terrain, which were bumpy, of course. Otherwise, it would poke out. But it's an imperfect thing at this point. Um, one other uh, thing was that I used the diffuse shader instead of the bump shader. And that was because the bump shader was pro uh, producing some weird effects, especially in the lower tint areas. I didn't quite understand it, but obviously the normal map was just not right. So I just decided to leave that off, and so it's a diffuse shader thing right now. And the mountains aren't exactly where they really are. <laughs> They're mostly there to cover up the default scenery, and I tried to make it where obviously they seem to be, you know, uh, more foresty, and so the lower lying areas are the places with the farmland. I tried my best here, but it's not perfect, of course. But size wise, it's not very bad. It's about 70 megabytes for this island, and it's a pretty big island. Now, if you're going to use it, if you download and use it, of course, it requires Kerbal Constructs. Oh, there's a sort of a seam here. Uh, I didn't notice that before. But with all this photo scenery, you know, there's uh, slightly different shading in different areas and stuff like that. So I haven't color balanced it yet. But yeah, so you bring up Control K and uh, you'll want to spawn you in your own. Oh. Let's get that going. Um, and it will be under the category Tanegashima, it's right there. And then so this local instance is like that, and of course we zoom out here. Um, you have to scale it up, I've got it at a scale of 27, and that's not necessarily correct correct, but it sort of fits the island that they had there already, and so I think it, it's a good match basically is what I was trying to go for. And then you have to uh, do a little bit of pitch and of course yaw is uh, in this direction so you have to get that right okay we're about to crash so I better um, pull up here but you get the picture 
Uh, I'll have the link in the video description and then you can place it. Uh, my throttle's not working right now. We see some poke through of the default terrain here. That's these this green patch here and there, but it's not super bad. With the Kerbal Constructs, of course, you can place uh, runways, and there are some... There was an airfield somewhere around here. Um, maybe this... Oh, uh, yeah, uh, the airfield is here. It's being covered by this. Oh, I should raise the terrain here. Uh, the default terrain is covering up the runway that's right here. That's not good. Of course, you can just place a runway there, but... Um, a word about the colliders, because I've made the hills, um, the colliders for the island don't exactly follow the hills, uh, they're more simplified, and so if you actually try and roll around the hills, uh, at the moment you will clip through at certain points, and uh, sort of be floating higher than the terrain at certain points, because it is just an approximate collider instead of an exact collider. And yeah, and we've got a seam here. I haven't ventured to this part of the island before, so... Well, that's what I've got so far. It, it looks okay in general. I mean, for Kerbal Space Program, it's still, you know, somewhat mind-blowing, I hope. And of course, with my uh, cities, I'll be adding some smaller towns. Not the city that I made for the cities pack is, of course, too large for this island. There's no city like that here. But I'm working on smaller towns and those would be a better fit. And they won't take any ex well, much extra space on that pack. It'd be like one megabyte or something like that. So, and then that'll be another Kerbal Constructs placeable object that could be added for additional scenery, but of course, um, <laughs> that might be going too far. But anyway, it is what it is. It is for people who like flying around, of course. But for rocket launches, it's nice having the island too, I think. So, and of course, we've got Cape Canaveral HD from Katniss, and I added the Boca Chica and Edwards scenery. And hopefully I'll get around to doing Kuru soon. Uh, I want to do crew before I do a new Ariane 6 video, so that'll be the plan there. And actually it doesn't take that long to make one of these. Uh, it's, it's actually shorter, a shorter time than you might think. So anyway, as I make it back to the Space Center, I won't belabor this. This is Tanegashima. I'll link it in the video description. I'll try and touch up some of the areas that need touching up. With that, Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.